Good morning, everyone. This is Lance, an equity analyst for APCAP, and welcome to Daily Trading Notes. For the U.S. markets, Dow rallies after Fed's major policy shift. Dow Jones briefly turned positive for the year after Fed Chair Powell announced that the U.S. Central Bank will allow inflation to go moderately above its 2% goal for some time. In addition, Powell hinted that low unemployment will not quickly trigger a rate hike. Dow Jones rallied 160 points, the S&P was up 6 points, while Nasdaq fell 40 points. For our market outlook, the PSEI is currently hovering between the 5,900 to 6,000 levels and trading sideways with, with weak volume for now. Currently, market is trading at 15.4 times PE at this year's EPS of 385 and 12 times PE at 2021's EPS of 490 based on Bloomberg consensus estimates. This is compared to a 5-year mean PE of 17 times. The market is fundamentally attractive, especially if you're looking at a one-year time horizon and betting for a stronger recovery in 2021. Trading activity may likely remain weak amid the ghost month, which is set to end on September 16. But ideally, this would be a good time to enter on select issues. Reviewing our basket of recommended stocks, we still like BPI, GTCAP, SECB, Ali, CNPF, and PGOLD, supported either by cheap valuations and or offer significant upside to its fair value. Note that the deadline for MSCI rebalancing will end today and may likely weigh in on the market. Now we'll be giving an, an overview on the mining industry, particularly on nickel and gold. First, nickel prices have been on the rise, and we believe there are several reasons to this. One, China inventories are falling while demand is starting to pick up. Note that the stainless steel sector is the major consumer of nickel, and with economic activity starting to pick up again in China, Prices are recovering. Two, the big bet on the electric vehicle story continues, especially in the U.S., with Tesla sales soaring to record levels, as demand for electric vehicles spikes. Two of the most commonly used types of batteries, nickel cobalt aluminum or NCA and nickel manganese cobalt or NMC, use 80% and 33% nickel, respectively. Newer formulations of NMC are also approaching 80% nickel. Most lithium-ion batteries now rely on nickel. However, Indonesia supply is also adding pressure with newly commissioned capacities which is slightly tempering the increase in nickel prices. So who are the nickel players in the Philippines? One is Nickel. It is the only nickel company with a processing plant. Second is Smart. It ships unprocessed nickel ore to China. Third is FNI. It targets to ship 5 million metric tons this year despite the pandemic. Second, Gold prices are hovering close to $2,000, keeping afloat. Gold continues to be a safe haven investment instrument for every crisis. When there is crisis, people always rush to gold. It's one of the commodities that remain pandemic-proof. We think PX, LC, BC, and APX are the clear winners here. And that's it for our market outlook. Have a good day.